Hello and welcome to the first Python tutorial video that I am making. So basically in this tutorial you will learn how to create an artificial intelligence that from a database of pictures you select one picture and then the artificial intelligence outputs the most similar pictures to that one. So before we go into it um, I want to show you the pictures that we'll be using. Uh, I'll have a link uh, somewhere in the description where you can download these exact images so you know for sure that uh, this will work with you but of course you can use other images and of course you can use images that use color as well um, that's fine uh, the way well we'll I'll, I'll explain now so I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to look up white no not here uh, whiteboard whiteboard <clears throat> excuse me okay so as you may know an image is composed of pixels so basically imagine that this is the image and that these are the pixels okay I'm doing a horrible job but I hope that the point comes across so we have a row of pixels and then we have another row and then another one and then another one and so on so basically what we're going to do is uh, get the image get transform the image into black and white you can do that by getting the red green or blue channel which are actually black and white images or just do another simple thing that I'll do in the code which is well you'll see and basically the idea is that uh, these uh, pixels store a number okay a number between a zero being black and one being white okay so basically what we're going to do is do a matrix um, yeah matrix uh, that contains all the vectors all the all the vectors all the pixels okay so just imagine a huge matrix with a huge with all those vectors and those vectors are represented as a number obviously a decimal a floating point number um, I pro you probably won't encounter a zero or a one total like a total one or total zero since they're pretty much non-existent but if you do well it's probably a processed image anyway uh, okay so once we have the matrix of the vectors of the pixels geez we want to transform that into a vector basically a vector that contains all of the information all of the information of the matrix in just one row or one column however you want to work with it it doesn't really matter so let's get go coding okay so I imported all of the stuff that you need so for example if you don't have numpy let's say you won't have numpy you uh, wait I'm going to clear um, complete good um, okay so let's say sorry about that sorry let's say we don't have numpy so you want to do go to the terminal pip install numpy and press enter and there you go um, do not find a version that satisfies the requirement I put I, I wrote num I think I wrote numpy wrong actually I can't see without my glasses install numpy is that right there you go okay I don't know what I've written over here maybe it was it has an N before an M well whatever the case may be uh, basically you want to do that for everything that you don't have in in your terminal already working okay so so it's probably the pandas the numpy and may, uh, the operator maybe I'm not sure and I think like these other ones you already have so let's get coding so once we have all that imported I'm going to first do 
uh, the only function that we'll have it will be um, image to vector so we're really instead of skipping the first create the matrix with all the uh, floating points and then transform it into a vector we're directly transferring the image to the vector but that's just I just explained it with the matrix in it just so you could understand it better okay so image to vector so we want open parentheses image and numpy dot nd array and we want this to point at and numpy dot nd array perfect so once we have that uh, for call well just type just type this with me length height and depth depth equals image dot shape okay so basically we don't need the depth when if we are using uh, black and white images but well actually you, you might want to keep it there I actually haven't tested putting it there just just to be safe but uh, where you will want to put it if you're using uh, colored images is in the return so return image that reshape is that reshape length times depth and here you would also oh sorry not depth well there you would want to put depth if you are using if you're using a colored image you don't have to do, do like I've said before grab the R channel the G channel the B channel uh, that's just fine you don't have to but you could if you wanted but um, oh also one other thing uh, before I forget uh, you want to make sure that they all have the same resolution it just so it works just so it does what it needs to do okay so with that out of the way good thing I didn't forgot uh, we want the path so I think I copied my path maybe maybe not yeah maybe I got it and I put an R before it because it just um, it, ju it just makes the reading later the path for the compiler uh, easier per se and we want to do a uh, variable images and I want you to try to keep this in one line so F for pro not f uh, for F and all is dot list there and here we will put the path if os dot path dot is file os dot path dot join path comma space f there we go nice and tidy and we also want the length of the array so n which will be the length images and we'll be using this constantly for for loops like you have no idea how many for loops we'll have to do with the same requirements i tried to actually before recording the video um make less for loops and and less matrices but mat yeah it just it, it didn't work how it should so let's just let's just keep it how I'm doing it maybe you'll fi maybe you can figure out how to make it work more optimized but still it works pretty well so for k and range of n two points uh, we want the IMAG to equal the path plus 
two slashes plus uh, images. Okay. Okay. So now we want to turn the image into the numbers. So IMG, which is the images, is going to be NP as array image that open open and know what I wrote before um, and and I am a G I should have named it with a different with a different uh, variable but oh well uh, now we want to turn the image numbers into a vector. So actual equals image to vector, which is the reference to the, um, um, how you call them, G's, the, fun the function that we, that we just created. Uh, it's getting late. Okay. Um, and what do we want to do now? We want to. We want to. We want to append this to the num array. Num dot append equal no not equals. Uh, let's make sure it's a float. Actual zero and there we go and now we want to do another loop of the same type and this one will save the cosine in an array so angle equals np that angle of the num K. Well, you could use Y, I guess. Uh, I don't know why I why I chose to use K this time, but it came naturally to me. I feel like the I is overused in some situations, not all of them. And ang that uh, pend this which this is the distance basically okay oh so I forgot to yeah how we actually what we do with the vectors once we let me explain that very quickly so let's say I want to try to draw a straight line okay let's say that we have a vector that we have this vector so the cosine, so basically this, okay? So we're checking the distance between vectors. So imagine that the vector is a two-dimensional. Obviously it's not two-dimensional. It's, I don't know how many dimensions it has, but quite a few, um, more than I'm willing to count. And um, let's say we want to compare it to this one over here. So this one has a cosine of this. So basically the distance that that we're comparing is this right over here, okay? And the lower the distance, the higher the chance of that image being similar to each other, okay? So I hope you got that and let's keep coding. So we want to append the distance into the ang, I put arg. Ang. Let me put my glasses on. One second. Oh, now I see much better. Okay, so once we have this, we want to create a matrix, not name two. I'll, I'll understand why in a second. There's also various matrices that I tried to get rid of but some of them were um, not really useful like like reusing them or something and 
uh, it was just impossible without making it mess up. So matrix one, matrix one is going to equal the angle of K, uh, the num of K. So remember, this is the most important part. This, this is the distance, okay? Should have not named it distance actually, but this is the most important part. This is what we'll be comparing to. And we're just adding this just, just in case. Maybe you want to use it. And we also, we're also adding K so we know what image to access. So once we have that, we want to do matrix two that append matrix one. Basically, this is uh, um, a way of having it nicely organized. You could just use matrix one directly, but matrix two will have will have it organized. If we print it, it will be much more nicer to see. It will be, it will be more readable. So we want to do we have the yeah we have the import operator. We want to create matrix three equals to matrix two. But but we'll be sorting it. So to do that, we're going to do matrix three dot sort. And the key will be um, operator that item get uh, item getter zero, which is the first the first um, not the first, but the distance. Okay, the first argument of the matrix. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's the most important thing. So now if we print uh, matrix three, it's going to look a bit messy, I think. Let's see. Shape. Not enough values to unpack. Expected three dot two. Oh yeah, we have to get rid of the depth. I actually was wrong about that before. Let's see if it works now. Length is not defined. Oh, jeez. I didn't type it in correctly. Sorry for these small mistakes. Okay, as you can see, this is what we're printing and it's in order from, actually, no, it's not. In, it seems to be in order. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay, I, I somehow managed to fix this um, later on because it's not actually th this value does not correspond to this value. This value does not correspond to this value, and so on. But we'll fix it. Um, so once we have that, we want to. Well, first we want to select an image we want to compare to. So let's just do image two. So um, let's create a array of images. And for y in range of n. n is linked to the matrix 3. So next, 
next in equals the absolute value oops of the matrix ah of the matrix three I n zero minus matrix three I zero. Okay. So now we want to do image append next image okay so matrix 5 yet another matrix this is the last one well actually there's another one matrix 4 but you, you get the idea y in range of n Oh, I forgot. Here's a double dot. And here we want to do matrix four equals MIG Y plus matrix three Y zero. So that's important. That's where we fixed that issue that we had before. So matrix five, uh, append matrix four. And just in case, matrix five dot sort, the key will be operator dot item getter zero and well I have this written so I'll just put it just in case although I think it's not necessary reverse equals false And we can print print our matrix five, and hopefully it will be more tidied up than this mess. Okay, it's a complete. Oh, maybe I did done something wrong. Let me check the code reference. And I. We get the two, not the. Print. matrix 5 there we go um, so somehow this contains the okay I think I know what's happening right now okay this contains the it doesn't contain the it's just let's just keep coding once for one second and and you'll see that it works um, IMG IMG append next M matrix 3 IM0 Y0 okay well remember that the key thing is the distance the uh, this this right here the thing stored in the angle 
And that's the key to what we're doing. So image equals image dot open path plus slashes plus um, plus uh, sorry I got distracted one second um, images I am and this will be to open up basically the the image that we've selected to to look for and after that we want to do img that show and we want to do we want to remove this from the matrix so remove matrix five I am okay so while K is less than three basically what I want to do is I'm going to open the image that we have selected and after that image opens the three um, more closest images to that image will open okay so while through while k less than three uh, k plus equals one if absolute value of matrix five um, i am zero minus matrix five I am plus one this is why we have them sorted basically because now we're comparing uh, which one the if the one above or the one underneath is closer to the image we're trying to compare um, less than the absolute of let's just copy and paste this and and change this to the minus sign let's copy this and well first we want to do num equals actually this is what we want to copy I am plus one and matrix five dot remove remove um this okay else oh, I, I, we need to do that I always forget for some reason in Python not used to it yet um, so num is equal to well it's actually pretty much the same only that this is a minus and matrix five remove is the minus and after that we want to do img equals image that open uh, matrix five I am minus one 
and we want to make sure we show it. So ing show and double parentheses. And this should work. So while, okay, forgot that. Typical. Okay, that's the first image. second image and it's only opening up two let's do this again one okay let's let's review the code we've done something wrong um so k equals zero iron AG equals image open. Yeah, I on AG show matrix five not removed. Matrix five ion. Okay, this part is correct. Maybe we've done something incorrect over here. Oh, of course. Um, in the open, we need to put the path plus. You probably have seen this. Jeez, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really tired right now. Oops, I moved the microphone. Now, this should work. And we want to run it from the images, not the not the matrix, I believe. No, 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 control Z, control Z. Okay, I, I see what we've done. Yeah, this is definitely images. And here, I could actually just directly specify none. But it would be the same, really. Although not if the num here is different. That's why it wasn't opening up the images it was supposed to. So this is the second one, third one, fourth one. As you can see, it works fairly well. So this is it. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future content, Make sure to leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to make it. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.